Welcome to day six of the drivetrain thing, swap stuff. Today's day six. I've been working on it every day with the daily uploads. I hope you're enjoying, first of all. Second of all, iWire finally responded to my email. They got back to me within a day. Found out that the, uh, this blue wire, that I need a splice in the TPS wire. When I got the whole car wired by them when doing the engine swap, I told them I was gonna use a 2007 ECU, so they wired it thinking it was a 2007. So the wire I need to splice into is actually this white wire right here. And I sent them photos, photos to verify. They told me that is the wire I need to splice into. So this is actually the last wire in the whole wiring system for the DCCD. So once that wire is on, the DCCD is fully wired. I'm still waiting for the button that they said was back ordered, which they said would be sent here this week. We also have a friend or two coming to help me get the trans in today. So that will probably be the main premise of today's video. So let's get to that. And just so you know, one of the people asked me in one of my YouTube videos if I have to make mounts or anything to fit the trans on. Actually, 04 to 07 STI trans cross members will bolt up to the car. So this is what I have right here. These are my 07 or 04 to 07 STI trans cross member pieces right here. And I don't know if I mentioned, but the reason we had to change the whole clutch kit is because the stock five speed is a push style clutch and this six speed is a pull style clutch. So we have to switch all of that with a new slave and everything. So that's why we had to swap all of that. Anyways, I'm sick of working on this thing. I want to get this done ASAP. So let's just get to it. Let's get this transing. I figured I should probably show you how this works real fast. You actually just put this thing around the wire and then clamp on it like that. And then the end of the blue wire with that male connector will actually, once it's folded over, slide in through there. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So it'll be like that. You can see how it splices into it through there. With it clamping down on it, and then this plugs in through there. They also recommend that once you clamp down on it to grab some pliers and then give it a good squeeze to make sure it's all good and has a connection. I already did do that, so that is how that looks, and that is done. It only took three hours to get the correct throw bearing and then get the throw bearing in the trans so we could actually put the trans in. Ooh. This man's in a white shirt. That's cool. He's ready to do it. He's ready, man. He's getting under there. He's ready. Take a hold on. Take, take off your Apple Watch. We're about to work for you. Okay. I've done this. I left it all first time. All right, let's do it. Move your hand, Clayton. Let me use the camera. See where we are. <laughs> we had a bunch of people over. We got the trans not in. It's uh, proving to be extremely, extremely difficult. Um, I'm gonna call it here for the night. I'm, I'm. I'm at a loss on how to get this in. I'm having one of my buddies, Shannon, that you guys saw from Colorado Vlogs, he's gonna, I actually think he's gonna drive out here tomorrow and come help me put this in. He said he's down to drive out, so he's gonna be a real homie for that if he does that, but I feel completely defeated right now, and this sucks, but this is the reality of it. This is the kind of things that happen, and the reality of it is this is my first time doing this. I've never actually done a trans, I've never even pulled a transmission before. This is my first time ever pulling a transmission, first time ever trying to put a six speed swap in a car, you know, and first time for all of this. So I'm, uh, we do have the trans supported. I know the jack stand isn't touching, but supported with the jack. We got a bolt in the top. We got the tire back just in case every, anything happens, it should hold. 
I even it's it's tight in there. I, I gave it you know a wiggle to make sure nothing's gonna fall. It's it's tight. Everything seems like it's gonna stay where it is. It's not exactly what I want to do, and I totally understand that that is not the way that this should be done at the moment. And it's sometimes you gotta do stuff like this to get. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes this happens. So. I guess I'm just kind of inexperienced and don't know exactly what to do next or the tips and tricks on how to get this in. I've watched some videos. I've been on the phone with some a bunch of friends trying to give me tips and stuff, and we cannot figure it out. Cannot figure it out. So, yeah, this sucks. But I guess tomorrow, <laughs> I don't know. I love you guys. Bye.